Hello everyone, it's Exo Man. I am working on a project and I want to share it with you. Uh, this is something that came to my attention when I was speaking with someone about uh, home security and feeling safe, you know, like for example, a woman living alone. Um, and this particular individual, we talked about her locking her bedroom door, which is an, another measure that you can take to give you a little more security should you say, God forbid, someone breach your home. All right, well then they still gotta get th through your door. Uh, but that's a problem for a number of reasons and I'm sure a lot of you will start pointing them out in the comments. But uh, one of them is, of course the main one is, these don't provide much security even if they're locked because they're essentially paper. But they're paper, I say they're paper, they're, they're pressed fiber, they're, they're like wood pulp, paper pulp, same thing. So you can break through them really easily. But you, slow, you can slow down an intruder to give you time to get your, your firearm. Um, and that was something we discussed. But the other problem is air circulation. Uh, most people don't lock their bedroom doors because of air circulation. You want air to freely flow. You want an exchange in and out of every room in your house so your HVAC is functioning properly. So I figured out a remedy for that, and it's a really cool remedy that I think you will like. So um, let's get started on this project, and we'll talk more about that. Yes, this is not the end-all be-all, but it is a big help. Okay, so let's go see what I got. I think you'll really like this. All right, here we go. Um, that's a scary looking package, isn't it? Look at it, completely covered with duct tape. I started opening it, and I'm gonna show you what I have come up with and um, explain to you my logic. So I thought I would be the guinea pig here and do this project at my home. Open. Now, you can find these online for way under $100. Uh, surprisingly, this is like tethered into, let me see if I can cut that, it's got a little piece of tape on it. I guess people are using up their ammunition around here. Right. You can find these affordably, but you have to, you have to search. And it was a surprisingly good deal for what it is. Are you curious yet? As you can tell, it's very durable. I'm not really worried about it, am I? Let's the camera down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get a tripod. I've got a tripod. Don't worry about it. It's in the other room. What is it? Do you know yet? How about now? Do you know now? It's a beautiful dang portal. Look at that. This is an antique portal from a vessel I know not of. This is amazing. Oh my God, is that threaded? Look at that. Yes, I believe that is threaded. This is about as custom as you can get right here. Yeah, this uh, ring flange, whatever you want to call it, for the back side is threaded onto there. So I can literally, I was thinking I would have to build one of these, but I don't. I can just install it. Okay, so I'm going to take this, and you see it's got a one hinge, 
which I can configure however I'd like. It's a solid brass. And I can put this right here and I will have my airflow. Okay. Yeah, we'll do either sideways or I think. No, no, sideways, yeah. I just was, I like that design like that, but I think sideways has got to be the way to go. Yeah. But then, with this uh, ring on the back, I can, I can spin it any way I want, whenever I want, if I want. Look at that. I mean, that was, uh, that was out of a big money boat right there, don't you think? With that, you re I've rarely seen them. I've done a lot of research, but I've rarely seen them with this feature, with this uh, this cross member across the glass to keep small to to keep those tiny pirates from going through. You know, you remember at uh, Disneyland? Yeah, tiny pirates. They used to have nightmares about. Them. I was thinking of a uh, five by thirteen inch register for airflow which can have and both of these can have an opaque backing in other words since it's a bedroom you want privacy we can have a little back door on each of these or you know just like an opaque screen on the other side for you know times when you want privacy all right let's see what we can do with this all right so in this case i was able to use my ring for a stencil all right now, let's cut a hole in my door. Years ago, I purchased this at a pawn store. It's a Dremel pen. I got it, it was $24. Just an amazing deal. It was brand new condition. Let's see if we can cut this hole. Okay, we are at a juncture. We have a, the first stage of a hole in the door and I didn't uh, put a drop cloth down which gives me the opportunity to talk about a recent project. Another project, this. Maybe you've seen the video, maybe you haven't, but I purchased this at a very low price because it was really, really nasty. It was used and dirty uh, and I refurbished it and it's a great little unit. So it's a battery powered DeWalt cordless vacuum. <laughs> short order of cleanups like that. Isn't that great? Look at that. Okay, now this. You know that uh, these modern doors, we can replace this door. We can put a solid wood door on here. Or, you know, for someone else, I might advise that. Um, but, but these modern doors have cardboard cardboard slats in between the, the panels of pressed wood. So we're gonna find, inside here, we're gonna find cardboard between the panels. Let's pull that out. There you go, my friends. That is the interior of a modern door. Okay. Like I said, paper. It's a paper door. It's not gonna give you the utmost insecurity. But uh, for our purposes, this will work fine. Uh, but I would recommend a solid, a solid wooden door if you don't have real security at your house. Now we have a dry fit. <laughs> I, have, I have really thought about this for quite some time. And it is just, it is so pleasing to see it come to become a reality. And that is just amazing. I love it. Now you can buy these. Let me tell you a quick story. This is the third one I bought. The first one I bought, I, it was on eBay and it said it was brass and it came to me and it was garbage. It was aluminum. Uh, the second one I bought was a relic that was salvaged. Uh, it was amazing. We're talking about something that would be worth 
at least nine, eight or nine hundred dollars, and I got it cheap. I got it for like a hundred and fifty, and the guy reneged. I won it an auction, and he waited four days and said that somebody stole it from him. He, he just didn't want to give it up for the price that I won it for. So this one was the third one, and uh, it was over a hundred dollars. But look at that. It's fantastic, but you can find uh, replicas that are solid brass for, I don't know, maybe, maybe 75 bucks, or you can find them, you know, original pieces like this for cheap if you just keep looking. You just have to start. Let's just put it this way. If someone were to breach this portal, I would send them through the ultimate portal. All right, now look at that. I can give this glass a good cleaning. If I wanted to, I could uh, polish the brass, but I like that aged look. And uh, there you go. You can get these uh, portals with a mirror. You can have this just for looks. This, is, this doesn't need to be functional. Um, they can be just uh, cosmetic. You can get a, a mirror and no, and no frame, nothing like that. I mean, this member, this cross member, um, or glass like this. Or sometimes you can just find open portals and uh, just have that. I can feel the air flowing through here, literally. Wow. Uh, watch this. Watch. Do you see that? Watch. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's take, take a look at the back side. Oh, how cool is that? Let me also point this out. If this is for security, really, uh, you want it as far away as possible from any locks. Okay, I have this one out of arm's reach, but uh, I could put it even higher. My original plan was to put it on the wall over there where the mirror was, uh, but I thought this would just be a really cool addition to this door. Um, and also consider this, you could put some sort of grate like this on the inside, secured either to the door or to the flange, uh, the ring on the back side of this. Okay, so consider these things. Finally, in addition to these other things, getting a solid door, a steel door, all these other security measures, uh, my friend Greg gave me a great idea, and that is you can take a pipe, a good sturdy steel pipe, drill out into the back here into the jack or studs or what have you, and take this plate off, you know, run, run a pipe in there that's big enough to receive your bolt, your deadbolt or your door latch, and make it flush, put your plate back on, and then you've truly fortified this because these are way too easy to kick in. This half inch of wood right here just splinters right through. So that way you put, you're putting pressure on this, you're putting pressure on this whole door jam, all the framing and such. And for God's sake, get a serious lock. Don't rely on something like that.